And tonight, family and friends remember a store clerk killed while on that job. This happened last week, and Louisville police tonight are focused on the moments leading up to her death and what may or may not be in surveillance video. Our Aaron Jones live in Louisville tonight outside that store where all of that violence happened with our top story. Aaron. Steve, during such a tragic time, the two sons of the store clerk found a reason to smile tonight. They met some of the people that their mom touched at a candlelight vigil held here outside the store. Who'd guess that she had made such a huge mark uh, before, obviously, going back. Going back upstairs, right? Ashraf Lakani's two sons emotional seeing the crowd at a candlelight vigil for their mom's Sunday. Every one of y'all here brightened up her day. What brought her joy is just seeing somebody smile. She was funny and just caring, and if you didn't have it all, she would, you know, help you out. Um, she. She didn't deserve what happened to her. Police say Lakani was working the overnight shift Friday when two men with a handgun walked into the Valero demanding money. Immediately, they started shooting. She handed over what was in the register, but was still shot and killed. Her sons hope arrests are made soon. We don't want to lose more beautiful souls, just like Ashraf. Nobody needs to go through this or at all suffer in any way, like, like my mom did. Her sons wish they had more time to make memories. We really, really would love if everyone just um, appreciates their loved ones and values their times with their family and uh, their parents. And tomorrow is Lakani's funeral. It's being held at the Hughes Family Tribute Center at 3 o'clock. The public is invited to attend. Live in Louisville, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. Okay.